Uh, good morning, folks. Uh, this is my commentary to accompany uh, sustainability modeling lecture number five. And today is Monday, February 24th. Uh, so welcome to the week. Um, this week uh, we're covering in the class um, what I call uh, models of social interaction. Now th this means essentially is uh, just trying to continue with the thread of uh, population dynamics. You know, what happens when you have um, more than one population interacting? Okay, so, um, so this week uh, we cover essentially what are coupled models when you have more than one stock, in this case the stock or population variables, as you'll see, and how they interact with each other, how do they affect each other's growth. Uh, so that sort of starts getting us into um, issues of sustainability because sustainability in most situations involves trade-offs uh, be between, you know, one stock and another, uh, or actually more than more than more than two stocks. Uh, so we're going to take it step by step. Uh, this week we focus essentially on on two stocks, and actually we do we do we do have a model when there's three stocks also this week. Uh, so multiple stock models. Let's see. Uh, in the in, in that regard, um, you know we we study the classical example of predator prey dynamics, uh, which means you know what what happens when when there's two populations interacting, but one you know grows at the expense of the other. Okay, and that's a it's a classical problem in um, in population dynamics has been studied and we analyze it from um, the sustainability standpoint and using Vensim as a modeling tool. Uh, we also look at another a couple of other interesting cases um, uh, when a population undergoes a catastrophe and how you know how that uh, recovers and what triggers a a catastrophe in in uh, the dynamics of a, of a given population. And um, the three stock model that we handled uh, in this class, it has to do with epidemics and how, uh, how epidemics uh, propagates in a population and, um, and how it actually generates uh, an interesting um, interaction between um, uh, the fraction of the population that is infected by the epidemic and, and the other that's not, and how those two interact, how one grows at the expense of the other. So, uh, so you'll see, I think you'll see some interesting uh, cases um, this week. Each of these um, models has their own Benson file uh, and uh, and we have separate videos. So you're going to see this lecture also the, the structure is a little bit a little bit more focused when you have we have a, a shorter videos but more of them uh, because each of these models is a separate has a separate video. I think the other thing that I want to mention is that there's there's a little bit of math introduced in this lecture uh, and that's fine. Um, I I don't want to get too much into into the calculus of um, of each of the problems, but I did I did want to uh, uh, go through the mathematics of each of these cases because you know at the very end uh, these uh, models in sustainability that we're lo looking at the, the models that Benson solves are essentially you know are essentially um, mathematically post problems as, as differential equations. So there's a little bit of that that I go into this today um, in this lecture. You know the focus of um, of, of the models that we studied this time around uh, have to do more what I call natural dynamics. Natural meaning uh, how these populations interact without external intervention. So there is no, uh, there is no uh, policy interventions, there's no economic interventions at this point. And as we move through the class, we're going to start introducing so those interventions, which is what, you know, the sustainability piece of it comes in. Uh, so. In this lecture, we look at, um, for the most part, these sort of natural dynamics and how these systems with multiple populations sort of evolve to their uh, to their own natural state. Um, um, a little bit continuing with what we've been doing. So that's in terms of what the lecture is about. I have a couple of other um, sort of um, announcements about the class. Um, as I mentioned, you know the. The first sort of the first part of your grade, your sort of midterm exam, is uh, to develop a blog post. Um, so I want to give you a heads up that I'm going to be sending out this week uh, instructions to develop that that blog post. Um, and what I want you to do with this blog post is essentially post the problem that you want a, a problem or the problem that you want to tackle this semester. So uh, sort of so I I think the the blog post, and I'll send you detailed instructions, is going to be more about uh, sort of laying some sustainability questions that you want to explore on a specific issue. Uh, and um, 
you know, if you look at the at, at the rest of the evaluation for this class, you have a uh, you have a final exam, or uh, uh, actually you have a, mid, uh, a term paper, which is to actually take the topic and then develop it um, and develop a Benson model for it and analyze results and all that stuff. Um, and um, uh, you do have a final exam, which is going to be essentially a presentation. Um, of, uh, of your term paper. So we're going to do, you know, I'm going to ask you to do a video uh, or to do a live presentation. We'll work it out. But I want to give you a heads up that this is coming. Um, uh, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm also monitoring uh, on our Facebook page your participation. I'm pretty happy with where we are. Um, I want to uh, I want to encourage you to uh, exchange more. I like the fact that you're posting materials and people are commenting on them. That's the whole point of this discussion group. I also want to see a little bit of um, uh, external outreach uh, by Twitter. Uh, so when um, one thing that I did with the post that's there now is that I tweeted. Uh, so my followers um, will have a route to what you posted and then also to, to the Facebook page. So that's going to be interesting to see how, um, you know, how this class uh, develops into a sort of a social entity, which is uh, one of the things that I wanted to achieve. So with that said, uh, that's pretty much what I had. I hope you have a good week. And uh, tweet away, uh, Facebook away in the, in the group, um, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the class. All right, take care.